be still my beating heart. Hey guys, it's Comic Relief Crusader here with another groundbreaking video about a new character being introduced to the DC Universe. That's right, DC, or as I like to call them, Deceased Comics, uh, is introducing a new transmasculine hero that wields the opposite of the Speed Force, the <laughs> Still Force. I don't know how that makes sense, but okay. So apparently uh, in the Lazarus planet, Dark Fate number one, it's going to introduce a new trans hero by the name of Jules Jourdain, uh, otherwise known as Circuit Breaker. No, not that Circuit Breaker, but this Circuit Breaker, um, who apparently holds a strong connection to the Still Force. Now, apparently writer and artist uh, A.I. Kaplan shared this first look at Circuit Breaker on Twitter not too long ago. Meet Jules Jourdain. He, they, still don't get that, a.k.a. Circuit Breaker. Can a new hero channel the exonerable Still Force energy to fend off evil? Debuting in DC's Lazarus Planet, Dark Fate number one, out on Valentine's Day. And responding to a comment, uh, Kaplan commented uh, that Jules is a trans man, but not super into the binary. I still don't get that. You're either one or the other. You can't change DNA. But apparently in superhero comics, you can because anything's possible, right? So according to Kaplan's post, uh, the DC editor, Andrea Shea, further touched on Circuit Breaker's upcoming debut, saying Circuit Breaker is going to be your new favorite character. Oh, DC, if it's not going to work with a mud baby with Joker, I don't know. I'll give you kudos for trying. So, like we've kept on saying, introduce a new character, and if it flies, well, it flies. So, Kaplan breathes new life, or just breathes life, into Jules Jourdain's first adventure this February, in which our new hero is blessed or cursed with the dreaded still force during Lazarus Planet Dark Fate. Don't miss his debut on February 14th. Well, the fans are going to say whether or not they like this or not, and judging by comic sales that have been going around mainly in the main two, we'll have to wait and see. So, apparently... The Still Force is uh, some sort of cosmic concept um, that was created by Scott Snyder and first appeared in, I believe, 2018's Justice League number two. And it serves as some kind of counter energy to the Speed Force, uh, which can basically slow anything down in the universe down to a standstill. Doesn't really make sense to me, though, considering how everything in the universe. Uh, moves and vibrates down to the subatomic level so if you have zero movement that's absolute entropy and therefore you're gonna kill a lot of people but that's just my understanding of physics what do I know so uh, what do you think do they get kudos for trying to introduce a brand new character that's trans? Or is this going to be another DC flop into introducing the message that they want to force on everybody and telling everybody that you're going to love this character. You're going to love it, whether you like it or not. 
I don't know. Only time's going to say. And uh, is this going to stop DC in its tracks? Or is it going to fly? I don't know. Up to you guys and up to see whether or not the sales are going to support this or not. As usual, this is the Comic Relief Crusader. Like, subscribe, and spread the news. I'll talk to you guys later. Hello, this is the Comic Relief Crusader. And guess what? I got a store. <laughs> That's right. Now you can spend all your money on scale posters, fine art done by the Comic Relief Crusader himself, and t-shirts. That's right. We now have t-shirts. So, come spend your money at this kind of location. That's right. You know you want it. Come spend it. This is the Comic Relief Crusader. Money!